How you doing everybody? Thanks for watching. This is George at Wicked Warnings with a new product. What we're looking at right now is our new mini thin LED light. And I've set a couple of them up here on the back wall on our power test bench for a little display to show you what you can do it. On the left you can see we have the amber version synced together in a split pattern where it's firing three LEDs on each side. In the center you can see the same style pattern, different pattern but same style, in a white and amber set and those are also synced together and on the far right you can see how you can alternately fire the entire light head if you prefer as well. This light head comes with 22 patterns, wires very easily with a four wire configuration. We have red, black, blue, and white. And I'll zoom in a little bit see if I can pick that up. As far as the wiring, the white touch to ground will dim the light. The blue is your flash pattern and your sync, negative for flash pattern and connected together for sync. And the black is ground and red would be your activation voltage. The current draw per light is about seven tenths of an amp. And this light will run on 12 or 20 volt system, 24 volt systems. So if you have a 24 volt system, there's no need for any extra conversions the light will run on 24 volts just fine there's a full 12 month warranty on this light and i'll go into a little closer detail here about what's in the box so this is the white box it's going to come with it's going to be labeled on the end your color code and your name you're going to have two mounting screws you're going to have the light itself which is shipped inside of a plastic bag you're also going to have the provided 3m double stick adhesive foam if you choose to use this method make sure you get yourself some 3m primer 94 and make sure the surface is very clean the primer 94 is a very good primer for 3m tape and it is very useful that goes right in the back of the light and then you can stick it to a vehicle without using the included screws now if you take a look at the light here itself you can see this is a very thin, low profile light. It's got a nice polycarbonate lens, so it's impact resistant. Very thin. All aluminum base, 100% epoxy sealed and waterproof, and a simple four wire configuration. These are also serial stamped on the edge, so we know if we can track any failures. You can see the lens detail there it has six three watt LEDs in there. They're set up with a multi optic lens, so you'll get very strong output from this light in this direction or this direction. Works equally as well in either. Let me throw a tape measure on it for you. The measurements are also included on the website in the instructions. Here we are. We're about three and one half inches in the length. About one inch in the height. And barely five sixteenths in the depth. Just for a little size comparison to some of our other lights, this light here is our popular LIN6. And as you can see, it is very, very similar in size to the LIN6. However, however, it is much shallower. Similar lens configuration, though, and a similar count in LED. Here is our Thin X TIR. Now, this is also a six LED light, but you can see how much larger that light is. The lens and the actual light body quite a bit just slightly taller so this is probably our thinnest light to date and again it's called the mini thin LED light the wiring very simple as I said red to power to turn the light on black to ground and your white is your dim feature to ground most people are just gonna not use that and your blue will be touched to ground to cycle through the 22 available patterns once you have set, for instance, when you're setting your patterns, you want to do this before it's on the vehicle. 
And the way it's done is you set one light on the pattern you like, keep count, check the instruction sheet, which is available online for the pattern list. Once you set one light, you set the secondary light, and then you sync them together. Now, for instance, in this application, when we first sync them together, since they were both set on the first version of this flash pattern, because the flash patterns are indeed broken down by phase one and phase two. So when these were both on phase one, they both flashed in unison by advancing one more pattern on the right light and then syncing them together again, they alternately flash. So I hope that helps you with your pattern syncing. Always sync your lights individually. I do not recommend taking the pattern up to a switch and trying to play with it later because they are in phase one, phase two. So if you simply change this pattern and change them both, they will be all out of whack. So once you set them, protect your pattern wires and leave them be. And uh, any other questions, shoot us an email at info, I-N-F-O at wickedwarnings.com. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And... Make sure to get a hold of us and let us know what you're using our new mini thin LED light on. Send us in your photos and your videos. We appreciate our fan submissions. Thanks again for watching Wicked Warnings. Have a good day.